hi students in this video we are going to learn about phase lock loop pll what is pll pll is synchronize the output signal with the input signal in phase as well as frequency that means it is synchronize input and output signal in frequency as well as phase that means output frequency f0 is equal to input frequency and the phase difference of the input and output signal is zero or it may be constant okay this is called pll or uh, uh, this pll is used in many applications that is satellite communication radar communication fm communication systems and also it is used uh, say clock multiplier in microprocessor many places we are using phase lock loop it is a very important because it is used to synchronize the input and output signal in frequency as well as phase okay let's see the operation of pll so this pll is a feedback system okay pll is a feedback system it include phase detector low pass filter error amplifier voltage controlled oscillator let's see the block diagram of pll so here is the block diagram so this is the feedback system it include phase detector low pass filter and vco what is the purpose of this pll means it is used to force the vco to replicate and track the frequency and phase at the input when in lock okay so that is pll is a control system that allowing one oscillator to track with other okay so pll is a control system that allowing one oscillator to track with other so let's start the vco start from the vco okay so what is vco so i have explained vco in a separate video you can check that in the description box okay so here what is vco vco is a free running multi vibrator that operate at a set of frequency f0 called free running frequency so normally this frequency is determined so this frequency is the free running frequency this frequency is determined by the external component of the timing capacitance and timing resistance okay so and also it is controlled by the control voltage that means this control voltage is used to shift the frequency either side by side by applying that controlling voltage so normally the output frequency f0 is directly proportional to the control voltage vc so this vco is called voltage controlled oscillator okay so normally the frequency is shifted either to side either side by applying a dc control voltage vc okay so this frequency is directly proportional to the control voltage so this is called as voltage control oscillator so this frequency output frequency is given to the phase detector here we are applying one reference input voltage that is vs and that frequency is fs here the output frequency is f0 and the voltage is v0 both are applied to the phase detector okay phase detector is uh, used to compare the reference input and the output frequency as well as voltage okay and it generates the error voltage depends upon the input and output so here there is the difference between input and output or any difference between input and output it is generates the error voltage phase detector generates the error voltage and also this phase detector is act as the multiplier so multiplier means it gives some output and the different output we get some and different output so some means if we get the fs plus f0 output okay different means we are getting fs minus f0 so two output we will get here so first thing phase detector compare these two signal frequency and it generates if there is any different uh, different voltage or frequency it generates the error voltage okay and also it gives the sum and different outputs okay that is 
given to the low pass filter what is the purpose of low pass filter low pass filter remove the high frequency and it allow only the low signal okay so here the sum signals are the high frequency signal so it remove this some frequency signal and it allows the different frequency signal that means fs minus f not that is amplified by the amplifier and this voltage is the control voltage that control voltage is given to the vco okay what is the control voltage that is the different voltage so every time that is compared with the phase detector and generates the control voltage okay can you understand what i am saying so the control voltage driving the vco phase in the opposite direction okay normally the control voltage that driving the vco phase in the opposite direction to reduce the error okay thus the output phase is locked to the phase of the input output phase is locked to the phase of the input or we can say the control voltage the signal control voltage shift the vco frequency in direction to reduce the frequency difference between fs and f not okay once this action begins we say that the signal is in the capture range okay first the signal uh, first the starting stage it is the free running stage okay when this action is starts that means the control voltage shift the vco frequency in a direction to reduce the frequency that is called the capture range okay that is the capture range the vco continues to change frequency till its output frequency output frequency exactly same as the input free signal frequency okay f in is equal to fs the current is said to be locked once locked pll tracks the frequency changes of the output signal normally this pll goes through three stages okay this pll goes through three stages that is free running stage capture range then locked range or tracking range free running stage means starting stage the oscillator uh, creating the frequency that is free running multi vibrator okay then what is capture range capture range means that is the voltage control voltage shift the vco frequency in a direction to reduce the frequency that stage is called capture range okay next one is locked okay when the free input frequency is equal to output frequency the current said to be locked that is the locked stage that time pll tracks the frequency changes of the output signal so that time it is called locked or tracking stage if you see this graph so here this is the free running stage so this is the capture uh, 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 capture stage so this here it is shift the frequency in the direction to reduce the frequency okay so next locked stage here the f not is equal to fs that means the current is said to be locked okay then we discuss about there is three important definition that is lock in range capture range pull in time then what is lock in range so lock in range means here the range of frequency over which the pll can maintain lock with the incoming signal is called lock in range and it is expressed percentage of f not okay the next one is capture range capture range means the range of frequencies over which the pll can acquire lock with an input signal is called capture range it is expressed in percentage of f not finally pull in time the total time taken by pll to establish lock is called pull in time okay so this is the explanation of pll i hope this video is helpful to you please subscribe to watch all the upcoming videos thank you